If you have pets, there's no denying how much a part of the family they can be. Do you ever think about your pet safety should there be a fire in your home? What can you do to help plan for a fire in your pet's safety? First things first, keep a fire from starting. Keep pets away from candles, fireplace, countertops, space heaters, stoves, and cooking equipment. And always keep a glass screen on the fireplace and try to make sure that your pet stays at least three feet away. Consider using flameless candles and watch pets to make sure they don't chew through power cords. Even with these practices in place, a fire could still start in your home. The best chance for you and your pets to survive is to get out and stay out. Have a smoke alarm installed in every bedroom, outside each sleeping area, and on every level of the home, including the basement. Test all of your smoke alarms by pushing the test button. If there's no sound or the sound is low, it's probably time to replace the battery. If the smoke detector makes a chirp, that means it needs a new battery. Change the battery right away. And if the smoke alarm is older than 10 years old, it should be replaced. Make sure everyone in the home knows what the sound of the smoke alarm sounds like and what to do when it sounds. Next, develop a home fire escape plan and practice at least twice a year. Having a home fire escape plan will make sure everyone knows what to do when the smoke alarm sounds so they can get out safely. Children and older adults and people with disability may need assistance to wake up and get out. And also make sure that your pets are part of the plan. Make sure all escape routes are clear and that doors and windows open easily and take your pets with you when you leave. Make sure that you know two ways out of each room. And also remember, pets can panic. They might get scared and hide. Do not delay getting out to find your pet. Pick an outside meeting place like a mailbox or a stop sign that's a safe distance in front of your home where everybody should meet. And then practice, practice, practice. Practice your, your home escape plan in the day and in the night so that everybody knows what to do and never go back in to look for a pet. It's amazing how they can survive inside of a house. Make sure you include your pet in your plans and that will increase the chance that both of you make it out alive.